Hey, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston off Daniel Island, and today I'm going to take you through our latest arrival, a 2020 Scout 235 XSF. Starting off with the boat's exterior, this is the optional midnight blue hull color. This is a dark, rich, almost navy blue. Full hull color upgrade. Standard on the boat is a stainless steel insert within the white rub rail. You can see Scout integrates their navigation lights into that rub rail. Powder coated hardtop with LED lights both fore and aft. There's an optional tea bag storage bag that's equipped beneath the hardtop. The 235 features a full walk across transom so you can get from one side of the boat to the other very easily. And the swim platform has a synthetic sea deck flooring material. There's a raw water wash down at the transom. You have a cockpit door that's lockable. Nice for keeping kids or smaller dogs safely inside the boat. This boat is powered with a 300 horsepower four stroke from Yamaha. The boat has a standard bait well and a port side aft. Bilge access, all finished out, easy to keep clean, no rough edges. And this is a really large hatch for a 23 foot boat, something not to be overlooked. You can see the stern seat. Deploys very nicely and smooth. Good size stainless steel hardware, high back support, easily seats two adults comfortably and stows away really nice and clean. This also gives you a padded bolster if you're fishing off the back. There's also bolsters throughout the boat and beneath those bolsters is LED rope lighting. So this boat illuminates really nicely at night. There's rod storage beneath the gunnels on both sides this is the standard leaning post. You have four rod holders, three cup holders, and a stainless steel grab rail with a standard igloo cooler beneath. The leaning post has bolsters that work independently of each other, so the driver can comfortably lean while the passenger sits. You've got an angled footrest, so you can be comfortable whether you're seated or you're standing. Also optional on this boat is a freshwater washdown, and we upgraded the standard Fusion speakers to the upgraded JLs. The boat does come standard with a Fusion Bluetooth stereo. Also standard on the boat are trim tabs. We upgraded this model to have the LED indicators that show you where your tabs are positioned. A Garmin 942XS is standard as well. You've got a lockable glove box with charging ports for your devices. LED lit, aircraft style toggle switches, the pumps and lighting, more charging ports here. This is a non-skid material to keep phones and other things from sliding around. That 300 Yamaha, of course, has digital throttle and shift. So it's fly-by wire, really smooth to operate. And this also has power steering. You can see the hard top has a tempered glass enclosure fully enclosed, but you do have some ventilation up above. A lot of storage inside the head compartment. Upgraded on this boat is a vacuum flush toilet with its own holding tank. Battery switch is also located back here, along with compartments to get to the back side of your access panels and batteries. This boat also has an optional battery charger. You've got Fender Pro receivers, which are a quick disconnect for your fenders. There's two on each side of the boat, four total. Here up in the bow, this is where everybody has fallen in love with this boat. Big chase lounge forward with built-in armrests. You'll notice that the frame of the hardtop is integrated into the console itself, so it doesn't take up any of your flooring space. These backrests actually remove very easily so you can open up this space a little bit more 
if you're doing any dining up here, or if you're fishing, you can get them out of the way. All of these cushions easily remove. So if you want to fish from the front, you get all the cushions out of the way. Same for the chase lounge or the coffin box. This cushion also comes up. You've got a ton of storage beneath this seat. This is drained. It's an insulated lid, so it's a great use for a fish box, a cooler, or dry storage, however you choose to use it. Storage on both sides beneath the bow seating. Access to your anchor locker is beneath that forward seat, or anchor line, I should say. Anchor is otherwise housed here. Optional rod holder cup holder combo receivers here. So this can hold a rod and also a cup, but it's also great for supporting a bow sunshade. Two more JL audio speakers up front. Stainless steel grab rail forward. Just a really nice boat. Really popular for Charleston. It's really taken off over the last couple of years. So that's a look at Scouts 235 XSF. Again, I'm Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston. We're located just off Daniel Island at 142 Sportsman's Island Drive. If you have any interest in this boat or any of our others, give us a call at 843-747-1889. And always check us out online at marinemax.com. Thanks for watching.